Hi there, it's Dawn with Numerologist.com, and I'm recording this video early for you because I had such an aha this morning that I had to share it with you. Now, for those of you who've been following me for a while, you know that I love the warm weather, and I spent the winter in Thailand, where it was warm, and I could have the windows open, and I can hear the birds, and um, it's just really, that's, that's my cup of tea. That's what I love. Well, uh, in early April, I came back home to Crested Butte, Colorado, and I live up here at almost 9,000 feet, and it's been a challenge. We've had at least six snowstorms since my return, and in fact, as I record this right now, it's snowing out. It's May 9th, and it's snowing. I mean, like, if I could show you outside my window, it's snowing. It's white, and then when it melts, of course, mud, right? So it's too cold for me to open the windows. I can't hear the birds. I have to stay inside. And you could imagine I've been getting kind of annoyed, actually. I would like to see a crocus. I would like to hear some birds and, and get warm. But that's not happening. So... This morning, I was laying in bed, I looked out the window, and there it is, all white and snow again, and I'm like, ugh. And then I thought, you know what, this is no good, Dawn, this is no good. What, you're not practicing what you, what you preach, what you believe in. It's time to have a look at what you are grateful for, what is good in your life. And I was like, ugh, yes. So, I spent about... 15 minutes really doing appreciation and gratitude and thinking of anything I could think of. And I'll, I'll share a few with you here. I'm thankful that I have a warm house. So no matter how cold it is outside, and no matter that, okay, I can't open the windows and hear the birdies, I have a warm house. I have enough food in my refrigerator. I have a car that works. I have a partner who loves me. I have a son who's healthy. I'm healthy. I can get out of bed and go onto my yoga mat and do my yoga and meditate. I have a job. I have work. I have people I can inspire. And I have all of you who are also people in our community wanting to do good work in the world, wanting to inspire and uplift your own lives and the lives of others. So I really went off on a tangent, basically, of appreciation and gratitude. And that's what I wanted to share with you today. And, in addition to that, I don't really want to confuse this with another quality of energy that's kind of like gratitude but isn't, and it, it's the um, starving kids in Africa concept. You know, maybe when you were little, certainly when I was, my parents told me, hey, eat, you know, eat your food, there are starving children in Africa, and, and it's true, there are, and it's a different vibration. So I want to talk a little bit about this vibrational difference. You see, when you're in a hard place in your life, like let's say you're having troubles with your employment. Maybe there's a colleague that you don't get along with or you're not satisfied with the work. It feels stagnant. You want to grow more or it's too far to drive every day. Whatever it is, you're not happy with it. There are two ways to deal with this. Well, there's three. One is to keep complaining about it, right? But if you're here in our community, you know that that's not really going to help you. Another way is to be appreciative, as I just demonstrated, you know, looking for the positive. And the third way, which isn't really that helpful, is to go, well, at least I have a job, so I should just be grateful. And can you feel how different that energy is? And even if you're trying to say it in a positive way, like, well, I should just be grateful because at least I have a job, it still doesn't, it doesn't feel very good, does it? So there's really a difference between this kind of resignation energy of, I should just be thankful at least I have a job, or I should be thankful at least I have a roof over my head, and genuinely looking for... The, the aspects of whatever it is that's not so great, look for the aspects that you love because that sets a different vibration in motion. And when you set the positive vibration in motion, there's more opportunity for you to make changes. When you just grumble about what you don't want, like, oh, my teenager is such a pain in the neck, what keeps showing up is the, the pain in the neck aspects of the teenager. 
When you say, well, I should just be thankful because at least he's healthy. Mm, what's still going to show up is probably the, the annoying aspects of your teenager. But if you start to go, you know, I really love my son. Yes, he's going through his teenage rebellion, but, you know, he's really got this gift and he really focuses on that and he's really talented with this and whatever it is. Then what happens is you change the vibrational relationship with how you feel about your teen and guess what? Those aspects you're appreciating are what start to show up. So I hope I've illustrated the difference here between, uh, first of all, just grumbling, resignation, and genuine appreciation and gratitude, which activates new energies and opens up doors for new opportunities. And from myself and the entire numerologist.com team, I hope that this message has been very helpful for you wherever you are in your life and in the world. And until next time, I wish you a beautiful day, snow or not. Mwah.